Hello Hathabs! Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Rikeda. Here on this channel, I share some snippets of my life journey as an international student living in the United States. I also share more about fashion. I also do a little bit of cooking. I talk about hair, braids, natural hair. If you're new here, you're so welcome. Thank you so much for passing through. I hope you enjoy my content and most importantly, I hope you hit that subscribe button and join the family. If you're old here, thank you so much for being an OG. Thank you for returning. Thank you for engaging. Thank you for joining the family. It really means so much to me. I appreciate all the support so far. Today's video is going to be about the do's and don'ts of having bohemian braids. I've had this braid on for quite a while. If I'm not mistaken, I've had this on for close to two months right now. I don't know if you can tell if it is two months old. I bet you cannot. If you want to take care of your boho braids or if you have bohemian braids and you're looking at ways and means to maintain it, I have a video on that and you literally just need two products to make sure your bohemian braids is looking all sleek, beautiful, new and good. Bohemian braids or boho braids for short is a type of hairstyle that is really trending. Basically, you just need to add some curls in your hair and then make sure the ends of your, your braids looks curly. You can do it in either box braids or you can do it in knotless braid but i find that if you do it in knotless braid it keeps longer than if you do it in box braids that is my thought so what i'm going to share with you all is going to be from my own perspectives because i have bohemian braids on right now and all the do's and don'ts i'm going to share with you is going to be coming from my own perspectives and from my own experience of having bohemian braids so if that's something you really want to know more about please stick and stay and don't go anywhere first off i'm going to start with the do's of boho braids because i feel like you need to know these before you even think about getting boho braids the first thing you need to do is you need to find a hairstylist that is good at it. Um, not everybody can, you know, do boho braids. Not everybody's good at doing it. And if you want your results to turn out really good, you need to find somebody you are sure or you've seen the work of her hands. Or if that person has Instagram, you've gone to her Instagram page to make sure that the person is good at it and the person is going to give you what she want. Cause you don't want a situation where you like, you show the person this is what I want and the person does something differently for you. So you have to make sure that in search of a hairstylist, you find somebody who is good enough to give you the results you're looking for. Also, the next thing you need to do if you want to have bohemian braids, which is very important, is you need to make sure the curls you're going to be using for the braids is human hair. The reason why I'm saying human hair is because anything human hair lasts longer than anything synthetic. But honestly, if you're going to go with human hair, I feel like the results is going to look beautiful, sleek, the results is going to, you know, look good for you. And if you decide to go with synthetic hair, it's not going to last longer. It's going to give you too much of work to do. You have to be constantly making sure that you are maintaining the curls, which is so much work. To be honest, we are all busy people. We have, you know, busy lifestyles and we have things we are working on. Nobody has the time to thinking about hair all the time. So if you decide to go in for synthetic braids, that means you need to be taking longer hours or longer time to make sure you're maintaining it very well which is not what you want especially if you have like a busy lifestyle that is why it is important for you to use human hair if you want to get bohemian braids another thing you need to consider doing is making sure that you are getting your boho braids in not less style not less because i feel like not less hairstyle generally keeps longer than if you're doing it in box braids so if you decide to do boho braids i i am highly recommended that you do it in not less style so that it can keep longer for you than doing it in box braids style everything i'm sharing right now is from my perspective and looking at me having my boho braids on for two months and you cannot even tell like i've had this on for two months i know what i'm talking about so yeah make sure that you're getting it in 
not less style so that it will keep longer for you you can be able to you know wear it longer you can be able to style it differently and then still look cute and beautiful another important thing you need to do is when you have boho braids you have to have a routine for maintaining it yes the same way you have like a natural hair routine for your natural hair you have to get a routine for your braids as well because trust me the truth is having protective styles does not stop you from taking care of your scalp and your hair in general so you have to have a routine and i have a video already on my channel where i show you how i maintain my boho braids trust me you don't need so many products you can just define your curls you can just take care of your hair just with two products also you have to take care of your scalp so the best way to take care of your scalp is having like a treatment oil a scalp oil these are my two favorite oils to use this particular oil is by as i am so it is the dry and itchy scalp care anytime i have braids on my hair this is the type of oil I use on my scalp because it's also, you know, good for dandruff. I don't really have a problem with dandruff, but I still want to avoid it. And this is the best product that I use. Another favorite oil that I love to use on my scalp is this one, this oil. This is jojoba oil. It smells amazing. I love it so much. I typically tend to use this usually in the nighttime. So these are my go-to oils that I use take care of my scalp anytime i have a protective style so yeah. now that we've spoken about what you need to do let's also address what you do not have to do the first thing you do not have to do is use so much products on the curls this is the reason why you should not use so much products on the curls you don't want your curls to be flaky you don't want your curls to have so much products built on it because when the curls have so much products built on it it makes it flake and then the curls just lose its vibrancy and its shine so you don't want to add so much products on the curls when you add the products the other thing you don't have to do is after you add the products to your hair you're just going straight to style it no what you need to actually do is after adding the products on your hair you wait a little bit while for it to dry out because i feel like when it dries out that is when the curls pop very well so leave it on for a little while before you go ahead and style it so do not style your braids right after adding water or products on it else it will just you know mess it up don't do that and another thing you shouldn't do obviously is use synthetic hair i understand you want to look good on a budget but i also know that if you want something to last longer you need to invest bohemian braids generally are not cheap they are quite expensive so if you're going to get somebody to braid your hair for you and the person is going to take so much money from you you must as well do the right things to make sure the hair keep longer i have had this on for two months now so i'm reaping the results of the cost of it thankfully i didn't have to pay for this however if i had to pay i'm sure i was gonna pay so much roughly maybe 200 so you have to get value for your money and getting value for your money is using the right hair and the right hair you need to use is human hair do not use synthetic hair because synthetic hair will give you so much work it will stress you out it will make you regret having bohemian braids do not use synthetic hair if you want to get bohemian braids make sure you invest in human hair so that your hair will look good aside it looking good it's gonna be stress-free when it comes to maintaining it and that is what you want for yourself so don't use synthetic please hair. do not forget to like this video do not forget to comment do not forget to share this helps my channel to go far and it helps the youtube algorithm to show my videos to a lot of people and if you have gotten information that is valuable to you you also want others to see this video and learn something new so it will be very appreciated if you go ahead and hit the like button you hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed and also share my videos to tons of people so that we can for the good news thank you so much and i'll see you all in my next video